Hi yogis, today we'll be doing a full body yoga workout sequence. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So, let us begin in a seated meditation. Find your comfortable seat, tall spine, heart forward, shoulders rolled back. Hands wherever it feels good to you, in between your lap, on your legs. Just a little grounding and centering we go before we go into the more physical part of our class today. Once you find your seat, starting to go inwards. Body, mind, soul, awareness. Feeling the earth beneath your seat, connecting to your skin. Feeling the space around you. Connecting to any sensations you feel in your physical body. Focusing on the breath and the movement of your breath. Feeling how the body naturally lifts and lengthens on the inhales and grounds and centers on the exhales. Follow the whole journey of your breath from your nose to your pelvic floor and then reverse it on the way out from the pelvic floor and out the nose. Notice how every breath is a little bit more different, not more different, a little bit different than the one before and the one after. Each breath so individual and unique and special like a snowflake. <sighs> Let's take a couple more deep breaths here. Really embracing this gentle meditation moment that we have together. And from here, we'll go into a breathing technique called Kapalabhati, or in English, the shining skull or shining forehead. It's an energetic breathing technique that helps us pick up our energy and it also really activates our core. So practicing this breathing technique can also strengthen your core muscles and create a better stomach toned look. <laughs> but you have to practice it a lot. You won't get it just from practicing it once. So what we're gonna do is first I'll go over it slightly together in case any of you don't have experience with it. So you can place one hand on your belly and just cough. And when you do that, you feel the motion that you want to feel, how the belly kind of tucks in for a moment. And you want to channel that on the exhale. It's going to be an active exhale, like a... And when you do that active exhale, you're also going to bring that center point in your belly, about three fingers below the belly button, towards the spine. So it's going to be like this. And it's going to be gentle. We're not going to be doing a really fast one. We want to start gently today in our practice, so maybe just one breath per second. You don't have to do a really fast-paced one. Taking it easy, you can even do one breath for two seconds or three, whatever feels good to you. I'm going to do a round of 30, and then we're going to take a deep, full breath, a deep inhale and an exhale, and then inhale, hold the breath for as long as you can. I'll hold it for as long as I can, and then we'll continue to do two more rounds. So we'll do three rounds of Kapalabhati. So find your comfortable seat. Hands can be placed on the thighs. I like to place my fingers on the inside of my thighs just to really activate my spine and my arms, feeling 
already energetically charged here for this breathing technique. Take a deep breath through the nose and begin. Deep breath, inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Inhale and hold the breath for as long as you can. Release gently whenever you need to. If you've already done so, that's okay too. And then take one deep breath before we go into our second round. Again, I also want to mention that you want to keep your throat kind of in this mini Jada Nirvana where the throat is tucked in, almost like you're making a double chin. You don't have to tuck the head to the chest, but make sure you're just not falling forward with the head, that you have a, maintain a nice posture in the head above your shoulders. Let's go into our second round. Inhale deeply through the nose. You can also place one hand on your belly if you are struggling to really feel it. Just make sure that you keep feeling that coughing motion that we did at the beginning. Inhale deeply. And begin. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Inhale and retain the breath. And slowly release. Take one more deep breath. And we're going into our last round of Kapalabhati. Exhale, let's go. Exhale, release. Beautiful work. 
Let's place our hands on our knees and go into a gentle cat cow. Just warming up the spine. Also being mindful of how you feel after that breathing technique, if you've done it before, if you haven't. Just noticing any differences in your energy. Being careful if you did it too fast and you feel kind of lightheaded, then just take a couple seconds to relax. Breathing slowly into your cat cow. Feel free to add any extra movements as well. If you want to do a little circular cat cow, or if anything feels good to you at the start of this practice, we'll be going into some intense quick movements in our yoga workout sequence today. So really embrace this moment that we get just to really release and warm up. Let's take a couple more, whatever movements you want to do. And then let's slowly come to a tabletop. Finding your tabletop position, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. You want to feel really stable here as we'll be going to a bunch of movements. So make sure that you have your shins pressing into the ground your whole sole of the hand, palm of the hand, and fingertips are grounding and pressing into the ground as well. Take a moment to really feel all these connections you have with the earth beneath you, helping you feel more stable, activating in the core, making sure that you're not collapsing, push away from the ground. Then we'll go into some quadruplex crunches. So inhale the right hand and the left leg, lifting up, pulling away from the body, and then exhale, Crunch underneath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. Keep going. Connecting to your breath. Moving with your breath. Couple more. Then let's drop the right hand, but keep the left leg up high. Bend the knee and let's go into some toe taps towards the ceiling, flex the foot, and act as if you want your heel to touch the ceiling. Make sure when you do this that your left hip doesn't open, that the knee is still facing the ground, the thigh is still facing the ground, and you're tapping. If your knee is sensitive, you can place a little cushion or towel under the knee as well. Keep tapping. A little bit more. And then we'll lower down the knee, but not touch the ground. Exhale here. Inhale, lift the left knee towards the left side to find that fire hydrant movement. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep going at your own pace. Lifting and lowering, if you wanna do this faster, you can, but try to preserve your energy as we'll be going into more intense movements later on. Feel those glutes really activating here. Couple more. You got this, lift higher. And let's bring the left leg out and take a half child's pose, half left leg stretch just to rest between sides. Let's flex in the left foot, keeping the legs super active, toes pointing towards the sky. One more deep breath here. And then we're slowly coming back up onto our hands. Bring the leg back to center. Let's tuck our toes and sit on our heels for a moment and just shake out the wrists. We'll be on our hands a bunch today. 
You can add any circular movement with fists, with open fingers, just play around with it for a moment. And now we're going to the other side. Back to our tabletop. Inhale, the left hand and the right leg lifts up, pulling away from each other. Exhale, knee and elbow beneath the body. Keep going. Inhale, exhale. Use your breath as a tool to move more deeply between these poses. Almost like you're doing a cat cow. Really moving with the spine, with the core, with your balance. Couple more. Last one. And let's drop the left hand. Keep the right leg up. Flex the foot and start toe tapping towards the ceiling. Make sure you keep that right hip closed and the knee isn't turning out towards the side. That the thigh is still looking towards the ground. Keep going. Stay focused, stay pushing away from the ground as well. Make sure you're not collapsing into your stance. And then let's lower the knee down, but not touch the ground. Exhale, meeting the other knee. Inhale, opening the right knee towards the right side for fire hydrant. Finding this nice 90 degree angle between the legs. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep going. Feel free to breathe through the mouth if you need to, to, to release some extra heat that we're building. If you feel okay with the nose breaths, you can continue with those as well. Keep going. Couple more. Last one. Let's open the right leg up towards the side and sit on our heel for that half child's pose, half right leg stretch. Flexing the right toes, toes towards the sky so the leg is super active. Taking a couple deep breaths here, letting our wrists, our wrists take a little break. If you want, you can even turn the palms up for some extra relaxing in the hands and the wrists. Let's take a couple more deep breaths. Enjoy these moments of rest that we have between our movements. <sighs> now we'll slowly come up to our tabletop. Bring the right leg back. Prepare for floating tabletop. Now on floating tabletop, we'll just lift the knees slightly above the ground. Make sure your back is still flat, that you're not lifting too high up like a down dog, and you're not on the ground. So really, really a couple centimeters above the ground. <sighs> Breathing deeply here. <sighs> Three more deep breaths. Last breath. From here, we'll move the weight into our right hand and slide our right foot underneath our body and pull our left hand behind our back, almost like we're pulling a lever or pulling a rope. Finding this kind of opening pulling posture and then come back to your floating tabletop, left leg to right side, lifting the right hand, pulling the lever. Feel free to do whatever you want with that opening leg. If you want to extend it all the way forward and pull the lever, or if you want to keep it a little bit bent, whatever works for you. Let's do a couple more of these, pulling the lever, floating tabletop, <laughs> opening movements. <sighs> Make sure you're breathing deeply through the nose. Couple more.
And let's come back to center and find a downward facing dog. Our first down dog, but you should already feel warm here. Feel free to add any movements just for some extra warming up in those hamstrings. Maybe doing yes and no with the head, releasing any tension from the neck. And then we'll walk our feet slowly towards our hands. And find a dangling forward fold, grab opposite elbows, swing side to side, giving our wrists, our wrists another breather. When you're ready, roll up to standing, vertebrae by vertebrae, vertebra. Close the eyes, take three deep breaths, letting the circulation flow from your head to your feet. Feeling stable and strong within your stance, belly, active core, make sure the belly isn't spilling forward. Slightly bending in the knees, make sure your knees are never completely locked. <sighs> and then let's close our legs and go to some sunnies with some fun active variations. Woohoo! Inhale, hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Take a walk or a step or a jump. Back to plank and exhale, chaturanga to the ground. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And from here we'll go into some fun movements. What we're gonna be doing is going straight into plank, chaturanga. Feel free to go all the way to the ground or stop a little before and then come back up to plank and exhale back to down dog. So we'll be doing three rounds of down dog, chaturanga, down dog, chaturanga, down dog, chaturanga, and we'll meet in down dog. Ready, go. Use your breath. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. One more. Perfect. In down dog, looking forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk, step, or jump, chaturanga. You can also do this with knees or without knees. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. This time we'll be doing the same thing, but we'll be doing down dog, chaturanga, up dog. So exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Two more. Last one. Oh yeah. Meeting in our down dogs. Always feel free to take a child's pose if you need. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Woo! From here we'll be lowering down to our elbows for dolphin pose and going into dolphin pose push-ups. Slowly tap your nose to the ground between your hands and push back. Active 
exhales as you push back. rushing through from your head to your toes. Just coming back to that mindfulness within our yoga workout. Beautiful. Before we go into some sun bees, let's transition with a fun movement. Come to the center of your mat so you have room to do stuff forward. Keeping this wide position in the legs, we're gonna inhale the hands come up. Create pistol fingers so that your hands are intertwined and you release the index finger. So you have these pistol fingers. You're gonna inhale as you lift up and exhale as you sit into a yogi squat. Let's do four more. Inhale up, exhale, squat, yogi squat, yogi C. Three more. Two more. Last one. Inhale, come all the way up. We'll be doing another five, but with crow transitions as well. If you don't have crow in your practice, just try to lean weight into your hands without lifting the feet, or maybe taking small hops. If you do, try to hold the crow for as long as you want between each round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, yogi squat. Hands come forward, leaning onto your hands, squeeze your legs onto your arms, crow pose. Feel free to hold, or just to come back into your movement. Back to yogi squat, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, yogi squat, crow pose. Back to yogi squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, seat. If you want to hold the crow for longer, you can. I'm just going to keep rolling through it, and I'll tell you guys when to stop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, 
exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose crunch. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, let's bring the foot all the way through your hands. Ground in the back heel. Inhale, warrior one. Let's take one more deep breath here. Keep turning the hips forward, knee above your ankle, in line with your toes. Active core. <sighs> Inhale, reach the hands a little bit higher. Exhale, warrior two. Look beyond your right middle finger. Active arms, relaxed shoulders. Spine in line with your hips. One more breath. Inhale, reach a little bit more in the arms. Exhale, reverse that warrior. Let's take one more deep breath here. Inhale, reach that right arm a little bit more. Exhale, we'll slowly bring the right hand in front of us to find half moon. Now, if you have a block or a book next to you, you can bring that in front of you and use that. Or if you want to bring your hand to the ground, that's okay too. Hand comes forward, lifting in the left leg to find half moon. The top leg should either be pointed or flexed, but super active, stacking the hips on top of each other. You can stay looking at the floor for more balance help, or you can start to look towards your top hand for more added challenge. Keep opening your heart towards the sky. One more breath, inhale, lengthen a little bit more. Exhale, slowly lower down that left leg back to the ground. Inhale, all the way up to warrior two again. Exhale, reverse that warrior. And all the way back down to the ground, chaturanga with one leg or two legs. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Let's go into the other side. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, bring the leg all the way through your hands. Grounding the back heel, feeling stable here before you lift. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Warrior one. Hips facing forward, active core, knee above the ankle in line with the toes. One more deep breath here. Inhale, lengthen a little bit more in the arms. Exhale, warrior two. Yes, spine is in line with your hips. We're not leaning forward or back. Active hands, relaxed shoulders. Looking to the middle of your left hand. Inhale, lengthen a little bit more. Exhale, lean back, reverse your warrior. One deep breath. Inhale, lengthen a little bit more. Exhale, rolling the left hand forward, finding your half moon, lifting the right leg, flex or point, right hand towards the sky, keep opening your heart and stacking your hips. Feel free to look up towards your top hand for extra challenge or stay looking towards the ground. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen a little bit more. Exhale, slowly drop your right leg back down to the ground. Inhale, right into warrior two. Exhale, reverse that warrior. And let's round the hands to the ground. Chaturanga with one leg or two. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. 
Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, standing up, hands to heart center. Take one breather here. We'll do one more round of Sun B. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up to the sky. Inhale, let's move a little bit quicker here. Exhale, bring the leg all the way through your hands. Ground in the back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, let's find half moon. Now here's where things get fun. If you want to grab your block now to big time or stay on the ground, what we're going to be doing is half moon knee bends. So from here, you're going to start bending that standing leg and straight knee. But make sure that when you straighten, you don't lock it towards the back. It's almost like you're slightly straightening it right before it locks. Okay? Stay active in that top leg. Couple more. Last one. And let's bring that last the back leg back to the ground. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Chaturanga, one leg or two legs. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, all the way through the hands. Ground in your feet. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, half moon. Find your balance before you start the movement. When you're ready, start squatting in that standing leg. Make sure you're breathing. When you're ready, take your last breath. <sighs> Maybe an extra release, deeply inhale through the nose and release from the mouth. <sighs> if that felt nice, take another one. Inhale deeply, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Slowly come back up onto your hands. Tuck the toes, down dog. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful work. We're done with our sun salutations, but come to the center of your mat. 
Let's do some more fun movements before we come down to the ground. Bringing the legs together. Going into chair pose again. We're gonna go into some chair pose squats. So you're gonna inhale into chair and exhale straighten up. Okay, we'll do five of those. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze the glutes as you stand, just like when you do a regular squat when you're weightlifting. Inhale, exhale. Last one. From here, we'll go into some sweeping movement. Inhale, chair. Exhale, release completely to the right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, release completely to the left. Yes. Inhale, releasing to center. Let's do those again. Be careful not to fall. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. From here, we're gonna inhale to center. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Exhale, twist to the right to find twisted chair. Now in our twisted chair, we want our hands to be in our heart center. So keep turning your heart towards the sky and keep sitting in your chair. Make sure your knees are pressing together as well. One more breath here. And then we'll bring our hands to the right side and squat down. Preparing for side crow. Stay high on your tippy toes. Keep squeezing the legs together. Hands are by your side. Trying to find this connection as you lean forward with your leg and your arms, even on the back arm. So you want the hips to be above your back elbow and your knee to be above your front elbow. From here, you're going to start leaning forward, bending the elbows towards your body. You can look towards the ground or towards the left. And the feet will just kind of lift on their own. Breathe. Keep trying, even if it's your first time. Just keep trying. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. If you got it, let's do another one. If you're feeling risky, you can also start to lift that top leg. <sighs> and have fun with it. You know, yoga is a playground. You're supposed to have fun. It's not supposed to be homework. So really play around. If you fall, you fall. You can place some pillows around you if you need as well. If it feels scary, it's a good way to start. Beautiful work. From here, let's just come back to a forward fold, taking a moment Dangling side to side, preparing for the other side crow. Woo! So proud of you guys, we're almost done. From here, rolling up to standing, vertebra by vertebra. Take three deep breaths. Feeling the circulation flow from your head to your legs again. <sighs> And then close the legs. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand and squat. Squeeze the glutes. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. We'll do one round of sweeps. Inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep. Inhale. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, back to center. <sighs> Inhale, regular chair. Exhale, twisting to the left now. Right elbow comes to the outside of your left knee. Sitting in your chair, move the hips down towards the ground, pushing the, uh, your arm against your leg to keep twisting your heart up towards the sky. Beautiful. One more deep breath. And then we'll bring our hands slowly to the left side of our body. Legs are bent and squeezing together. Go up high onto your tippy toes so that it's easier to find that your legs will be above your elbows. From here, you're leaning onto your arms, bending the elbows towards your body. Look towards the ground or towards the right. And the feet will just lift on their own. 
Keep breathing. Beautiful work. Keep trying, even if it's your first time. If you got it, come out. Let's do one more time. Or stay in, that's okay too. If it feels good, maybe lifting that top leg. Playing around. Woo! So proud of you guys. Take one more time if you want. You don't have to. And then slowly come back. Let's take a forward fold again. Maybe widening the angles in your legs. Swaying side to side. Feeling that breeze against your skin that you're creating for yourself here in this sway. <sighs> Beautiful work. From here, we'll bring the left leg back to the back of the mat and turn it towards the side for a wide angle fold. Make sure the toes are facing inwards. You can go as deep as you want if you just kind of want to rest in the wide fold, that's okay too. Or if you want to actively work using the heat in your body to go between your legs, you can do that as well. Whatever feels good to you. One last push before we get down to the ground. Coming up onto your hands, turn your heels towards the inside now and let's inhale to goddess pose. Beautiful goddesses. Yes. Wide angle in the legs, knees above the ankles. In line with the toes. Make sure the knees aren't collapsing inwards. Nice wide angle. Beautiful, let's go into some goddess squats. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess, with cactus arms. Inhale, four more. Exhale, three more. Exhale, two more. Last one. Let's stay here in this goddess pose. Interlace your fingers and place them behind your neck. Going into some oblique crunches. Inhale, center. Exhale, crunch towards one side, doesn't matter which. Keep going. Couple more. Feel the thigh burn. Feel the core burn. Last one. And let's slowly bring our hands back down to the ground for our wide angle fold. Turning back to the front of the mat, feet together, regular forward fold. And let's come down to a seat. Yes, so proud of you guys. You deserve this seat. Legs are flexed, straight legs, ready for seated fold. Inhale, the hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Notice how warm the body is. Notice if you're going deeper right now than you would normally when you do a regular fold. Always noticing the small things, the subtle changes within your body. And what causes these things to happen? Take a couple more deep breaths here. <sighs> Inhale, the hands come all the way up. Exhale, let's give our legs a hug, preparing for boat pose. Make sure you bring the legs real nice and close to your body, staying seated on the seat, the sit bones. And from here, bringing the hands forward, maybe straightening the legs as much as you want before you roll into your lower back. Keep the seat on your sit bones. Take five deep breaths here. Every inhale, find more length in your spine. 
Every exhale, bring the legs a little bit closer, maybe straightening a little bit. Last breath. Cross the right leg over left. Lift the whole body for one second. And back to the ground. Let's do one more bow. Find your position. Five breaths. Every inhale, more length. Don't feel like you're collapsing in your boat. Float above the sea. Strong between any storm that the sea sends your way. Couple more breaths. And we'll bring left leg over right. Lifting the whole body for a second. And come back down. Let's go into some body rolls. Coming to the front of your mat so you have room to roll back. Just a little bit of core work, balance work, back massage before we move to the ground. Yes. And then we'll meet each other on our backs. Woo. Legs are hip distance. Toes are facing forward. Make sure that your toes aren't turning outwards and neither are your knees. Preparing for bridge lifts. Hands by your hips. Inhale as you stay on the ground. Pressing into your feet already. Exhale as you lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Three more. Two more. Last one, moving slowly. On our last one, we stay up. Keep the hips up high. From here, we'll lift the right leg up towards the sky, going for one-legged bridge lifts. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. And let's change legs. Grounding in the right foot, lifting in the left. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. And let's lower the left leg and slowly lower the hips down to the ground. Beautiful. From here, we'll bring the knees to our chest. Lift up into a shoulder stand. Yes. If you don't have a shoulder stand, you can do bridge again. That's totally okay. If you're with me, jumping into that shoulder stand, hands are on your lower back. If it feels good to you, you can start walking the hands towards your rib cage to help you find more length. Keep squeezing the legs together, active legs, active core. Bringing your feet towards the sky, not overhead. One more deep breath here. And then we'll slowly lower down, using your core, moving slowly with control. And straighten the legs on the floor. Let's bring our hands under our lower back, if you have any lower back strain, for some leg lifts. Just like we just did now, lowering the leg back down to the ground, but we'll isolate that movement. So inhale, both legs come up as close as you can to your head. Exhale, lower down without touching the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going at your own pace. I'll tell you when to stop.
Couple more. Last one. And slowly lower the leg down all the way. And let's take fish pose. Coming up onto your elbows. And lower your crown to the floor. If your crown doesn't reach, start scooting your hips back towards your head and your crown will arrive. If this feels okay, you can bring your hands to the top of your thighs. You don't have to, they can stay on the ground if that makes you feel more secure. Whatever you chose, deep breaths. Keep reaching the heart forward. For added challenge here, we'll go into extended fish, which means you'll lift your legs up 30 degrees. If you want extra, the hands are coming up too, pointing towards the legs. One more breath. And then slowly release completely to the ground. Woo, so proud of you guys. Let's go into a deep recline twist before we finish off in our Shavasana. Giving your right leg a nice big hug towards your chest. And then move the leg towards the left side, looking towards the right. Deep breaths here. Keep sinking your shoulders to the ground and that upper leg, deepening the twist, releasing any tension from our back. At the same time, we're getting that nice abdominal organ massage, which we love to do. Activating our digestive system, cleaning it, increasing our metabolism. One more deep breath here. And then slowly come back to center and can change legs. Giving your left knee a big hug towards your chest, straightening the right knee, right leg. And then bring it all the way to the right side, looking towards the left. Deep breaths. <sighs> and let's slowly come back to center. Give your legs a nice juicy hug for wind release pose. Grabbing opposite elbows around your knees, full body flexion. Giving yourself a big juicy hug. So proud of yourself for completing today's yoga workout. And then release completely for Shavasana. Take any variation you want, using any props you want. Hands by your hips, palms facing up, legs as wide as your mat or wider. Tuck the chin slightly towards the chest to find more length in the back of the neck. Bring the shoulders away from the ears and back down to the ground. And then just surrender completely to the ground beneath you, coming back to our mindfulness work. Focusing on your body or your breath, space around you, whatever feels called to you to do within your Shavasana meditation work. We'll be here for one more minute together. You can also feel free to extend your Shavasana after the practice, after we finish the practice here together. Let's take a couple more deep full breaths together, filling up the body with new oxygen. 
and releasing completely all the air within your body. And then you can wiggle the toes and fingers, waking up in your physical body. Keep the eyes closed and then slowly meet each other in a comfortable seat. Feel the circulation flowing from your head to your legs. Feel this beautiful tall spine, heart radiating forward, shoulders rolled back and a super active core and body feeling strong within your seat. Strong within your posture. Take one more deep breath. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I really hope you enjoyed the class, had a good time, worked your body out. If you did, please leave a comment down below letting me know how it went for you. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.